<laughs> Ever since Mitch became a vice president, they've been scared out of their wits. Where's the eating? It's set for this afternoon. I sure hope Ponty comes up with something. Hey, where are you going? Oh, Miss Jennifer, the morning are quit. Are drunk? Nonsense. You've been threatening that all week. This time it's official. There's a letter of resignation on this desk. You wait till you leave. Oh, my God. 
Thank you. 
Yeah, I don't mind. I mean, I have Miss Jo. Well, I can assist with that. I can learn a lot from her. <coughs> you don't want what is your secret. Don't worry, Katie. Just be patient. All right, dear. I'll be patient. I'll give you 24 hours. And after that, it's goodbye. And it's hello, Daniel. Oh, <laughs> oh. Oh, hi, Benji. Hi, Benji. Miss Jones, I need to see Mr. Bigley. Oh, he's paranoid with his mouth, but you can wait for him. Okay. Hey, are you queen? Unless I hear her advice to come, Terry. <laughs> well, maybe we can um, help each other. Oh, yeah, let's bust that together. <laughs> I've got a different idea, Hetty. I need to speak to you alone. Do you know where we can go? Oh, well, let's go to my place. Hetty, it's business. Well, okay, then let's go to your place. Hetty. Well, fine lunch. Well, they want to come? I'll meet you downstairs. Well, lunch isn't really what I... Do you want to talk or don't you? Okay, but I'll meet you around the corner. Ah, I got you. <laughs> Hello, Executive Washroom. Yeah, I'm down here. What? <laughs> the meeting's at 4 30. Right, come on down, we'll make plans. We <sighs> meet today, eh? Yeah, yeah anything well. Well, JP gave him a postponement so he must have something. You know, fellas, I'm beginning to get a little bit scared of fish. Me too. If we go with something soon, it probably have us all working in a mail room. <laughs> Hi, man. Uh, Hi, bud. Here, bud. Thus, our worries are over. Finch is going ahead with, well, believe me, he's dead, dead, dead. And I'm so happy, I can cry. Well, that sounds like very good news. I'm not so sure. Finch has a way of bouncing. I wouldn't believe he was dead if I read his official. Yeah. Ordinarily, I agree with you. Finch is very smart. But let's not forget, he's now in advertising. Uh, and that does a thing to a man's brain. Hey, has anybody seen my hair oil? Oh, right, man. Awesome. Could be. Could be. Could be. Well, um, wish me luck, man. Good luck. luck.
time in the fields, the laborer at his machine, and the businessman at meetings. Oh, come on, Jonesy, you must know something. I've told you before, Mr. Brunt, call me Miss Jones. Oh, you must know something, oh, you better finish it up on time. You think I'm telling you, you got me joking. It's a bad time to ask for a date. What is this? This, JB, is 
by seeking greed, combining greed and sex.
show was bad. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, which is your favorite? <laughs> now that would be telling. <laughs> <laughs> but, sir. <laughs> now the moment you lie in the worldwide big headquarters, the moment you all been waiting for. The world. What? Wicked Treasure Girl. Yeah, where is it, Conti? Nobody knows but JB and myself, right, JB? That's right. Hello there! Welcome to the Worldwide Wicked Treasure Hunt. In ten different places in this great country, there are very five thousand shares of stock, making a total of The good book itself has. <laughs> that it is, Wink. Can we please put your right hand on it? Oh, not you, Wink, the treasure girl. <laughs> Miss LaRue, do you swear there has been no fixing or rigging in connection with this show? And the clue you're about to give is the truth. The whole truth. Free from any trickery. Chicanery. Or dishonesty. Is this a real Bible? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't know about this. I want it to be completely spontaneous. This could be very dangerous. I think it's very effective. Do you swear to that, Miss LaRue? I do. And secondly, Miss LaRue, do you swear that you do not know where the treasure is actually hidden? Do you swear to that, Miss LaRue? Miss LaRue? You see, I told you when you were getting into trouble. She doesn't know. Does she? Look, I do not wish to take a bum rap. I will not sweat false witness to perjury. I do know where the treasure is. I found that last night. There is treasure hidden in all the world of my Even this one. Here. Oh. 
Not a bit of that. Can't you offer you to? What does a man do when his whole world has just crashed around his ears? Nothing. I know, but that mind of yours... No, Rosemary, I'm going to put that mind of mine away. And go back to what I did before. What did you do? <clears throat> I was an exterior decorator. See, I can't even tell you the truth. I was a window washer. So what? I don't care what you do, Ponty. I'm sticking. I walked out on you once. You did? Yes. Well, I'm not leaving you again. No, Rosemary. That's no life to your wife of a window washer. Sitting at home while I'm up there not knowing if I landed. <laughs> Well, I was going to wash up first. They want you now. Well, can I not even say goodbye to Rosemary? Go ahead. Rosemary, I'm so sorry about it. Come on. Oh, God. Rosemary, goodbye. Oh, Rosemary. You think? Why should you have to go in there and face these monsters? Go on. Run away. Escape. I'll pretend I didn't see you. For old man's time? No, bud. I'm going to go in there and face them. And I bet you'd be glad if they kill me. If only I could be sure. <laughs> All of our key men are here, J.B. Shall we go into your office now? Oh, we'll do it right here. We don't do anything behind closed doors at worldwide wickets. Gentlemen, you all know Mr. Wally Wamper, the chairman of the board. Good morning, Mr. Wamper! Now, Wally, I want to uh, say before we go any further that I realize that I am the president of this company. The man who is responsible for everything that goes on here. So I want to state right now that anything that happened yesterday was not my fault. <laughs> now you'll be happy to know, Wally, there's a bright side to all this. We found somebody to pin it up. Have you got Finch yet? They're bringing him in. Good. Now when he comes in, I'll do all the talking. You'll soon see where the blame for this whole thing lies, Wally. This is one very slick youngster. Here he is, sir. Jimmy, I'm sorry. I'd like to disagree. You haven't met Mr. Wong, the chairman of the board. Oh, Mr. Wong, can I just explain? No speechy speech, it's all set. All you have to do is sign this simple little letter of resignation here, in which you accept the blame for everything that happened. I'll be glad to. What? I said I'd be glad to. Are you sure this is a not one of your tricks? No. The company's been really good to me, and I'm going to accept the blame and resign and go back to what I did before. What did you do? I was a window washer. No, kid! I started as a window washer myself. <laughs> you did? What the hell do you think I was? A rail splitter? College man, so you were a window washer? Yes, Mr. Walker. Call me Walker. Okay, Wally. <laughs> Say, bitch. Say, bitch. What? Oh, call me Ponte. <laughs> Bubblehead to 
I don't think you're getting any wrong idea. She's a very nice girl. You, you should speak to her. I intend to. Well, I think I have the whole picture. Now the only question is what to do and who to do it to. Now what? Before you go making any hasty decisions, I'd like to say a few words. About what? Humanity. You see, even though we're all part of the same common corporate setup, deep down under our skins there's flesh and blood. We're all brothers. And some of us are uncles. Now you may join the elsewhere. And I may join the Shriners. And other men may carry cards as members of the diners. Or others wear a golden key or small green leather pin. And I have found there's one word that all of us are in. Yes! 